Hello everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. It's Wednesday and on Wednesdays we go live. Welcome everyone, I'm Kathy Zilski. If this is your first time catching me live, well, <laughs> are you in for a treat? I can't back that up, but I can tell you this. I have cool air blowing on me. No more sweaty lives. No more sweaty lives. It's a beautiful thing. Although I will say the air quality in Minnesota is terrible. I'm inside with all the windows shut. What does my husband do? He's going to an afternoon baseball game because that's just how he rolls. My daughter's actually going to that same game. It's what they do. Me, I stay inside. Okay, welcome. It's great to have you all here. Barb, I see you out there. I see Marita, Dora, Randy. It's that call out time. Also, please remind me at the end to share cards that have been sent to me because sometimes when I get to the end, I think they want me to wrap it up. They want me to get, you know, get it done or whatever. And I always forget to show them. So we're going to try to remember that today. And also just a reminder, this is truly live. Um, there's no official plan and, you know, it's going to go a little longer. It, there's going to be some chatter. It's what we do. It's so what we do on Wednesdays. And so without, you know, talking too much more, I'm going to go to the table and we're going to talk about some things. Okay. Time to change the glasses. Also, I have no mascara on because you know what? My face is so small. I mean, in the circle, you know what I mean? Okay. I can still see your comments coming through and I will do my best to keep up, but I can't look at them all the time. And I always feel bad if there's ever something that you have a question that I can't answer. You know what? You can always leave a comment after the live below the video in that comments area i always see those after the video and i'm happy to answer okay so today today now i have this stencil that i designed for simon says stamp i've used it once and after seeing what so many other people are doing i want to i want to do it again oh hey i want to call out planner time with michael because michael i don't know if you're new new to my channel but it's so nice to have you here um i'm gonna use this today and I'm going to use the coordinating stamp set today. And I am going to use a combo that I did on a card for Concord and Ninth probably a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. I will be sure to link that in the description. Following my lives, my moderators, uh, Emma and Beth, always help me, but I can't keep track, to update what, ha what I've mentioned or call out. So I will be posting this video in the description once it's over if you want to check out that but i so here's the thing i love pinks with a brown so we're going to try that today and this is just my little um i don't have a ton of swatches but this is my color combo swatch book for concord and ninth inks i don't get that adventurous you know it's not really um it's not really a thing that i do but i have these colors right and I, wa I wanted to tell you what I did. I've been doing this this morning because I needed, you know, I needed to be productive here. I actually bought a second set of labels so that I can have them on both sides. Eh? I'm in the process. I just do a few a day. It just gives me something to do. Anyway, okay, we're going to set these up here or over here. Now, today we're going to use the layering stencils, but here's what I was thinking. When I did my video for this, um, for the product launch, I, I used the uh, the little marks on here, and I'll show you those really quick. Let's take these out. By the way, if you're wondering, I keep my stencils in these tailored expressions uh, sleeves, and then they go inside of a binder. And I showed this in my craft room tour, which is up now on YouTube if you haven't seen it. And um, I really like this system, uh, so that's what I that's what I have. I'm also trying a new layer uh, labeling system, but I don't know if I I love using it, but it's it's thermal printing, and I don't know if it's going to fade over time. We'll have to see. Anyway, I've got actually got one printed and just stuck out in natural light to see how it goes. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But what is here and there? So these little guys they have a little etch on them which shows you a USA2, which is four and a quarter by five and a half tall, so that you can cut your cardstock and be perfectly lined up and all that good stuff. But I felt like I didn't quite line it up perfectly. No, I don't know that it has to be perfect, but you know, it, I mean, I'm one, I want it to look good. So today we're taking a piece of six and an eighth by six and it's about a quarter. I'm gonna do the old, just go into the corner. There's something about this. Now, you know, there's a lot of different ways I could do this. 
But there is something about just sticking something in your Misty and knowing it's not going to move and then lining up is so quick. Plus, I love the fact that I can put my little, my little ink stand. Oh, you know what I forgot to grab? Blending brushes. Okay, let's, uh, let's pop this out and let me grab some. Okay. All right. I knew there was something I forgot. I'm going to be using my Simon's Stamp Blending Brushes today. And we're just going to lay down some color. Now, I actually think I'm going to start with Dragon Fruit today because she is a firecracker. Firecracker. Um, and, oh, I'm kind of looking at comments here. Hold on a second. So the peach, oh, the peach touch faded. That's interesting. Hold on here. The reason I think that's interesting is I went on to the, uh, the uh, what is it called? The internet. And uh, I looked up the P-Touch labels to see what technology they used. Um, oh, I don't know, Vicky. I don't have hard pants on. Um, and they it says print. They're printed. So I, and I, because I thought it sure looks like thermal printing, but they say it's printed. And I do know that's lasting forever, but I'm telling you, the little printer that I bought, <sighs> kind of loving it. Okay. Oh, you know what though? No, this will be fine. We're going to do this. We're going to start with a dark ink and then we're going to have to clean the heck out of our brush to do the light one. Or maybe should I start with the light one? Because then I'm saving, uh... Let me think about this. Gina, I'm not using foams at all. I mean, hardly ever. I, you know, once once these came into my life, I don't think I ever looked back. In fact, I don't know where my foams are. They're somewhere around here. I have the dome foams, and I actually like those better than the flat foams because I, I could never make those work. That was, that was just not a thing. I'm going to start with light. <laughs> Because, you know what, I'm just, I'm asking for trouble. I'm cruising for a bruising. Okay, so I'm going to set you aside for now, and we're going to start blending. Now, I wanted you to know, I have a little residual repositionable adhesive on that little area. But on this stencil, in order to get these to stay together, it has to be a little delicate in there. So you just want to be careful. And, uh, 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 yeah, okay. I'm going to talk about the little printer. Let me grab it so I don't forget. Now, granted, the really cute one is a typewriter, but that's not the one I'm using. This one, and I'll show you at the end, okay? And if I forget, <laughs> you know, you know, grandma just, you know, she doesn't remember. And I am a grandma because of, of my grand kitty. Okay. Oh, now I'm sliding because I think I cleaned my, uh, my thing too much. Here we go. I'm going to add some color. What are we, 10 minutes in and I'm just starting to make cards? It's okay. We're starting here and we're going to bring in some of this pink. This pink lemonade, which is so pretty. I love this color. You know, I may try to do a little blendy blend where I make it a little darker at the base. Should I? Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know about that. Hold on here. I got to... Oh, Samin, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. And if you, if anyone has ever left me a super chat and I didn't see it, I promise you, people will tell me and then I will notice. But thank you so much. No, these are not constructed pants. I wear, oh gosh. So this is, this is a true story. And again, if you've never seen a live with me before, there's some stories. There's some stories that are, that are going to come out. But one of the things that I wear every day are shorts and these shorts I have three pairs I have three pairs in XL and it's pushing the limit it is pushing the limit and then I have three in large yeah they're all by Mountain Hardware Mountain Hardware my favorite company for soft it's not like I go hiking let's be real I'm not a hiker um but uh they're great I have the pants and I have the shorts and I think it's called the Dynama, the Dynama. Anyway, I love them. I don't, I don't wear anything but that in the summer. And um, I just, I just cycle them out. Black, khaki, and uh, let's get that softer. And uh, the other color. Anyway, they're so great. They're so great. No hard pants. Okay, what I wondered was, should I try with this? Is that my paintbrush? Yeah. 
maybe a little deeper at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. You know, if I start doing it now, I'm going to have to do it in all of them. I'll give it a go. Why not? Right? And then just lightly blend to combine. Oh, I didn't do it here. <laughs> All right, how are we doing out there? Hey, Donna, nice to see you here. Hey, Mindy, Charlene, see you there. Hard pants, that's horrible. <laughs> I just, I mean, yeah, I guess when I am in a slightly smaller state, I'll wear something with more construction, but honestly, even it, I just can't stand it. Can't stand it, okay, let's, let's, uh, we're getting, we're getting a little wild here, but, um, you know, pants are important. We wear a lot of them and, uh, you know, that's just how it goes. All right. Lift and look at our pretty first layer. Oh, did I get my ink under a little? Well, you know what? I was a little juicy. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to throw that on the ground and I'm going to bring in the next one. And here's what I love. Again, my stencils have an etching that tell you which number you're on. Um, and we're going to put them in here. You know, you know what I don't miss? Let's go in the corner. Let's get everything in the corner. I don't miss my corporate life. My corporate life, when I first started uh, as a editorial assistant at the American Collectors Association, Any Dine in Minnesota, we're moving on to Sweet Pea, by the way. Um, I wore hosiery. I wore tweed jackets and skirts. <laughs> Just like, you know, that's crazy. And I felt so fancy, so fancy. Okay, I'm tapping a little off because here's the thing. Okay, again, the bees, I gotta be more careful. I gotta be more careful here. Let's go lighter at the bottom or darker at the bottom. Watch these little pieces and then softer. I was very corporate. I was very corporate back in the day. Some pretty funny pictures. Um, Maybe I'll just get my first layer down, keep it as light as I can. See, sometimes I think I'm light-handed with stencils, but then I will ooze, I will like ooze out. Uh, and that's okay, you know? It's like, this is meant to look like a stenciled piece, right? We're not trying to make something that is like, oh, that's perfectly printed. No, it's stenciled. All right, now I'm gonna use this bad boy. Oh, look how juicy that is. Okay, gotta, gotta be, yeah. Just reading about all the uh, people in pants. See, sometimes we talk about bras. <laughs> sometimes we talk about pants. We talk about pants and that's okay. That's how it should be. Next week, we'll talk about mid-length skirts. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can back that up, but we could. I'm trying to create a blend here. I'm, you know, trying. Hey, Sylvia. Yeah, it's just the, the corporate day. Back in the day, I always found it so ridiculous that people thought a suit was somehow going to make you better at your job. If anything, <laughs> right? Probably worse at your job. I don't know. I don't. That's probably not true. Okay, I'm just going to let this go as it is, and we're moving on. Well, hey, Tina. Welcome. It's Wednesday, and we're, uh, we're live. Okay. Hey, that looks good. That that layer looks fantastic. And also, I'll wash these later, but you know what? I'm not too worried about these stencils staining. But it looks like I've got, oh, it's like, um, hold on here. Hold on. We got some schmutz. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, the shoulder pads and my suits. Gosh, those were the days. Those... There is schmutz there. Come on. I got you. Okay. Adhesive eraser. Very, very helpful. Oh, is Lisa here? Hey, Lisa. Nice to see you, my friend. Lisa sent me something really fun earlier in the mail, and I, I can't tell you what it was in the email, but just know it was pretty, it's pretty exciting. It's top secret. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, okay, this is where we have to be careful because this little sucker is, she's the firecracker, the dragon fruit, right? I mean, oh, there, I'm tapping off just because I just don't want to have too much. Um, Vicki Donnelly, did I do all the classes? No. Uh, in fact, if you remind me, I um, this past weekend was the Concord and Ninth uh, 
Let's see. Okay, we're going to get dark here. Okay. Was the Concord and Ninth event the summer camp? And I participated in um, a die cut party with Greg Cottrell, the, the owner and founder. And um, I had everything. Oh, something just slipped. Oh, I think we're fine. And uh, I only did one card. <laughs> but it's really cute. I just, I watched. I watched everybody create stuff. And then I just was like, you know what? I'm just going to enjoy myself and watch. It's so fun to watch classes and then make them later. Oh, hey, Menda. Glad you made it. All right, we're going to try to go lighter at the top here. I think we're going to get it. You know, we're we're doing it. We're making two-tone magic, I think. And even if it's not perfect, this is fine. Because I am, oh, that one I kind of, <laughs> and I messed that one up. I picked up too much off the, uh, here's what we'll do. We'll, do. we'll, do, we'll darken. It's so, these pads are so juicy. Okay. Darken in down here. There we go. Make it darker. Um, yes. Very fun. Very fun. Very fun to see those ladies making stuff. Okay. There we go. Concentration, concentration, ready to begin now. Okay. Anyway, it was it was very fun this past weekend to watch. And I don't know how many of you saw it. And I don't know where he posted, but Greg posted a video of what it was like. Oh, look at that. Isn't that coming together? I love it. And actually, I am going to wipe this one off just a little bit with, mm, I'll show you. Well, I'm not going to do it right on here because I don't have enough room. I'm going to take a little alcohol and uh, just spritz this because this color I think is such a strong color it might stain a bit and my goal is to not have that color yeah it was it was a really fun event but anyway Greg is walking around the office all by himself playing the Celine Dion song all by myself it was very funny pretending to cry at the end is pretty good um all right. Well, and you know what? Even if it does stain, who cares? All right. You're going down. And now we're moving into the last and what might be the most surprising color. Also, this is just lined up so much easier in my mind. And I don't mind wasting a little cardstock, you know? I think it's fine. All right. Um, but you know what we're going to do? Here's my weather vane. I got to point you up. You're just, you're just blowing right on me. And it's a little, it's a little aggressive. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, how are we going? Okay, we're in that corner. We're going to go like this. And now, something that I hardly ever use. Look at how unused this brush is. It's like, it never blend with brown. But today, oh, we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to bring in the nutmeg. And I am not sure, because this brush is so unconditioned. I don't want to flip that over. I'm going to come in here. Okay, so this is a really nice brown. I want it to be a little soft, but if it's not, it's fine. Oh, and actually, I want to show you something in here. So I can still see some of the um, sticky that I put on here before. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this off so I can show you this. Um, because I used a little repositionable adhesive, sometimes, you know how, how the dots, um, they kind of get on things that maybe you don't want them on. If you choose to put a little dab of repositionable adhesive, just kind of check to make sure not a lot of dots are showing because it tends to show up on the paper. Okay. I mean, it shows up with your ink. You know, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. You know, you know where we're at. Okay, here we go. Let's just bring in a little brown. Little brown. Little brown. I'm trying not to make it super, super dark, but we'll see. We'll see. Try to try to have the light hand here. Okay. Alright. I'm I'm really concentrating. <laughs> it's really I can't look at comments right now, I promise. I know you're there. I feel it. That's that's nice. Look at that one. Can I do it on all of them? Here's the thing. With these brushes, you kind of try to barely even, like, just skim that paper, right? 
This has taken me seven years to figure out. <laughs> oh, Kathy, you've been you've been doing good with your cards, Kath. Learning so many things. All right, look at that. I think this is going to be great. Now the question is going to be, which one am I going to dry emboss? Because yes, yes, friends, we are going to dry emboss today because I saw Yana Smakula do that on her cute card and uh, I loved it. In fact, if I had time to fully let something dry, I thought about doing some kind of shimmer paste, but I'm not going to. We're going to we're going to dry emboss. So, it's going to be it's going to be a blast. Now, coming out. I think we're done. Let us reveal the final the final the final combo and look at how fun that is. Happy birthday to you. Okay, I'm not going to be doing this one. Hold on here. I think I think Boy, I'm I'm trying to decide. Okay. I think I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to have to clean this. But doesn't this, isn't that fun? I think that looks so fun. Now, there is a bit of schmutz, but again, I'm going to let my ink perfectly dry. And let's just take it off. The thing that I love about this stencil... Um, oh, Nana B! That's right. I was going to give you a shout out. <laughs> Nana's a longtime watcher. And uh, here she is. I'm popping you up because I told... I, I don't know if I responded, but... She is doing her first live. And you know, it's one of those things, I tell you, it is a little nerve wracking if you've never gone live before. Um, but you know, just, just think of it this way. You're you're crafting with friends and you know, it, yeah, we all, I mean, if, if you watch my channel, you know how much I mess up and you know how things don't go smoothly and perfectly all the time. So you know what? Don't sweat it. Okay. Now, here we go. I'm going to clean... Well, I'm going to put this out of the way so I don't spray on it. Let me clean this one really well. And how we do that is go like this. We spray. And we just kind of dab it off. And I don't want to rub too hard. Okay. But that way, most of the pink is off. And most importantly, it will be dry. Okay. Flip it probably going to be fine. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's remove our ink stand. And before I glue this thing together, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the schmutz off because I can see it. I can see it in there. Um, also, if you are just joining my live, welcome. I'm Kathy Z. I go live on Wednesdays and then I share, well, last, this month of J June, I shared a crap ton of videos, <laughs> so many videos. Um, and I have, actually, I saw Carissa out there. Carissa, I'm editing a video using another one of your new releases and it's so cute. It's so cute. This afternoon, I will, uh, I will finish that and get that uploaded. Now let's see, am I clean? You want to make sure it's clean before you do this because otherwise, oh, there's hair. Um, that's not uncommon in this in this house. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Oh, I guess I'll, oh, this is brilliant. All I have to do is just do that again because I was already lined up. Okay, this is another reason why using one big piece of paper uh, to do something like this, uh, spare the rod, spoil the paper. But the other thing is too, you can use this paper and I'm, I'm going to today. Um, the excess on the sides, you can use it to build up dimension for your die cut greetings or your die cut balloons. Cause I'm, I'm hoping to do die cut balloons, but all right, that is lined up how I want it. Let me grab my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. I'm going to come out here just a little bit. And I think I have it. See, in a way, I feel like that is just, that's just easier than even using the crop mark or the etching inside. Now, I need plates. <laughs> okay, how come I can never remember this? I'm using my original plates. So here's what we're going to do. We go matte. Okay, does anyone remember my mnemonic? It's moops. Moops. Sounds like oops, but it's moops. Matte. No 
cutting plates, right? Matte paper. That's the paper stencil. And here's the beautiful thing. I can fit this all through here, right? Now I think this is what we do. And then you put your embossing plate on top. I think it's going to work. So let's, uh, oh, did I just move it? Hold on. <laughs> no, no, we should be fine. We should be fine. Matte paper stencil. Let's run her through. Oops. MPS. Now, if I wanted a little more dimension, oh, you know what the, no, no, we're not, we're not talking about this right now. I was going to say I could have cut, die cut it first because of the, but I can also die cut, I can cut this by hand. I can do a manual cut, but yes, MPS. Oops. Thank you, Laura, Laura Rumble. You got it. Okay. Now when I take this off, did it puff? Did it, I do see puffy. I'm going to lift it and the way I know I did it right. Yes. Do you see that on the back? Here's the thing too. If I wanted, let's just try this. I could add one more piece of cardstock for a little more pressure. And I, I will do this from time to time. So let's just bring it back through one more time. I think we're, oh my gosh, that is, you know what? I think that's too much actually. Let's, let's bring it over here. You know, best to just not, well, I'm tempted. No, if it was moving that much, it doesn't, it doesn't want me to do that. Okay. You can do that at the start. So let's just keep it as is. And again, you can always, like I did, check the back. And if you see, there you go. See that? You, you got, you got it. Let's take this off and see. Oh, it's just so cool looking and it's so hard to see it. Oh, we got some stickage. Come here now. We got some stickage. Please don't tear the paper. Oh, come on, come on, reposition. There we go. I'm gonna have to erase that. It took off all the repositionable adhesive. Oh, but it's cool. Like it's, it's so, well, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I did it. Okay. Thank you, Vicki. That was kind of you to say. And yeah, that just went a little, a little wild with the, but here's the beauty of the adhesive re eraser. Oh, did, is that tearing my paper? Oh, I think it did. <laughs> shoot. Well, you know what? You know what? We can fix that, I think. Look at that. It tore my paper, the adhesive. So, repositionable adhesive. <laughs> Not so repositionable. I'm actually really surprised. Okay. Well, but here's the thing. I'm going to sand that off, and I'm going to put my greeting there, so we're going to be fine. Interesting. That has never, ever happened to me with repositionable adhesive. Okay, go, get up there. Get that paper off. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> well, there's just all kinds of things happening. That just bums me out. But there you go. Again, live, we don't know what's gonna happen. It tore my paper right off. Check it out. <laughs> okay. You know, this is why, for example, if you're taking a class, right? If you take a class, you, and look, it's fine. It comes off no problem. People plan ahead for classes, live stream, no idea. But yeah, I, I, I'm putting my greeting there. We're, we're going to be golden. We're going to be golden. Okay. So be warned. <laughs> if you're going to dry emboss, you know, you might not, uh, you might not, I don't know. I got to, I got to refresh myself. Vicki? Mm. Okay, we're moving on. Now, that's my scrap. Now I'm going to cut this down. And you know, now that I've already made a mild mistake, I mean, you can feel that. It's really kind of cool, but it's really hard to tell. I am going to cut this down manually. But I am going to do it. Oh, Barbara, thank you. Thank you for rewarding my glorious mistakes. Appreciate it. Okay, I need, which size do I wanna do? Do I wanna do this size? Or do I wanna come down just a tiny bit like this? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pencil mark it. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't wanna, I don't, oh, 
That's good, right? That'll pull it in a little bit and give us a little room. Here's what we gotta do. We gotta trace. We gotta make a crop mark here and here, here, here. Where else do I need it? Over here. I am not left-handed, so wish me luck. Hold that down. Here, here, here. I think that's enough. Yeah, that should work. Okay, uh, how am I gonna cut this though? Do I wanna cut it with my big trimmer? Hold up. Mm. Okay. The only reason I'm not using the, uh, oh, a boop in the tear, that would be good. <laughs> the only reason I'm not using my dye is because I don't want to have, uh, I don't want any mucky muck, you know what I mean? I kind of wish this, oh, I can't do this to save my life. Hold on a second. We got to get closer like that first and foremost, because I can't see what I'm doing. And actually, I may need, I may need my, well, do I need my other trimmer for this? Okay, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to look down. Oh, gosh. Can't even, oh, there's my head. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go like this. Okay. Now here's the beautiful thing. As long as I get this one right, right here. Let's see. Oh, I, this is, this is going to work. I'm going to come here. I'm going to cut this on this side. Now, all I need to do, let's see here, is go. Oh yeah. Cause it's three and a half by five. Okay. I got it. We're going to take a little more off on the other side. I got this. Right? Do I got this? Hold on. Ooh, that didn't. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's take a tiny bit more off. <laughs> Highly trained professional. Okay. Like that. Right there. Okay. There we go. Look, look at that paper thin piece. How are we doing out there? We're okay. You know, this is why three and a half. This is why I love my other dies, but okay. But this way I won't sacrifice three and a half by five. Is that it? Yes. Yes. But the question is, you know what? It's going to be fine. Go. I might not be perfectly centered. Yep. <laughs> Hold on. Three and a half. It's by four and three quarters. Is that it? Hold on, let me grab a panel. Come here, panels. I just need a panel. Oh, Kathy, here we go, here we go. Oh, come on out. Come on. Okay, I just want to see, this is not what I'm using. Let's see. Oh, no, that's right. Okay, pretty good. We're not using this color, okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, you know. So now we have our panel and I, I actually think it's really cute, but let's do some stamping and we're going to cover that little piece up because you know, it's, it, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. Okay. Let me put these away so I don't uh, lose them. Um, the rotary trimmer is really nice. I, I do like it. There's some things that I'm not 100% sure on. One of them is trimming panels. Mostly, hold on. Uh, because I, I feel like I knew how to do that pretty well with my guillotine. And it is just in the other room. I just don't have room to have more than a few trimmers in here. So I am going to set this off to the side because it will be important for choosing where we stamp things. So... Let's get, is that big enough? Yeah, that's going to be fine. Uh, full panel cardstock. I am going to stamp balloons. You know what? I think I'll zoom out just a little. What are we, how are we doing out there? Good? Um, oh, I should make my head a little smaller. Someone left a comment last week and said, your head's really distracting. I'm like, thanks for letting us know. <laughs> it's kind of my standard response with anything. Okay, thanks for letting us know. That's what you do. You don't, you know, you don't worry. You don't worry. You don't get wild. You're all good. Now, 
last week or last video when I had done this, I did a whole template die thing and I'm like, you know what? No, just stamp them. Just stamp them, okay? Because you're gonna be fine. Give yourself plenty of room for inking. One of the uh, <laughs> one of the luxuries of my life is I have cardstock. That's, you know, I have so many things that are not fancy, but I don't care about cardstock. I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna love it. Okay, now Big Balloon goes here. And so I feel like Big Balloon could be, it could be brown actually, because it would almost be the furthest away from the brown. So let's do it. I like to have a little visual balance with my color. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just ink you up. This is such a juicy pad. And oh, let, why don't we um, put the magnet actually on the surface? Let's let's try let's try a few with the lens cap off. How does that sound? Okay, okay. I'm gonna stamp one brown balloon. Okay, there was something on that. Do you see that? <laughs> this, is, this is not my day. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna flip it. There. <laughs> it's just some schmutz, and there's schmutz there too. This is just yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. There was something on the stamp. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. Nothing weird showing up there. And give it a little this. Yeah, you know, people, people, people are people. So, you know, why should it be? You and I should get along so awfully. Depeche Mode fans. Okay. Um, wouldn't that be, you know what? I should, I should quote more new wave songs because, because they're just fun. Okay. Now for the next card, um, or for the next balloon. So let's take a look at this big balloon here, medium balloon here. I think we can do the medium balloon in the dragon fruit. Okay. So let's do that. I mean, I guess I could ink them up at the same time and then wait, small balloon. So, okay, Medi no, no, Dra dragon fruit and then the little balloon, sweet pea. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's get our dragon fruit. Yes, Depeche Mode. You know what I heard? I, um, I drove my husband to said baseball game uh, today, dropped him off because he said he was just gonna Uber home which means only one thing, day drinking, but that's fine. Good for him. And uh, we heard in the car, we heard Ordinary World by Duran Duran. Look at that perfect color. I'm not even going to do more. Um, although I did smush that one, didn't I? Huh. All right. Well, it's going to be fine. And I love that song so much. It's such a good song. Ordinary World. So good. Okay. Now that we've done this, we're going to do all of our stamping at this at once I think let's think we're gonna do it all at once so uh, let me put these back on the sheet let's pick our greeting let's pick a greeting that's big enough <laughs> to cover the schmutz see that's where you can say you're gonna put it right there happy birthday celebrate or do I want to do a very very no I happy I think I just want to do that okay so I'm going to take this out, right? We're going to let you sit over here. And then I'm just going to grab another piece of cardstock. By the way, this is all uh, the same paper that I'm using today, which is Concord and Knife. I really like their white cardstock, and I kind of kind of been in a, a bit of a Concord and Knife uh, cardstock phase right now. So I'm going to do celebrate. I don't think I've, and also here we've got these little friends that we can stamp on for graffiti. I don't, or graffiti. We've got graffiti. Um, Christine Kerr, yes, I can answer that question for you. Um, my lives are every Wednesday at noon central. That is the time that I've been using this summer. It used to be Wednesdays at three, but it is much easier. Well, that was before I had air conditioning though. Oh yeah, that's the main reason I did it. Now that I have air conditioning, well, I could go on, I could do a 24 hour live stream, you know, just nonstop where people bring me food, bring me those running protein gels, <laughs> spray me with a mist, give me wet towels around my neck. There's, there's a lot. 
there's a lot in there. Um, we're going to get some embossing powder. But yes, Wednesdays at live, th those are my days. And uh, it's nice. It's a nice time. I mean, I know, here's the thing. I could do them in the evenings too now, now that I have a studio where I can be in here and join. But people like Christina, um, my UK people wouldn't be able to watch. And um, so I don't, I mean, and I'm not like ready to do two a week. I love the Gina. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Here, um, anti-static powder. I only do it once a week because I have so many other videos throughout the week. And uh, which is what I'd love to do. Um, I love to pre-record videos. I love to have premieres um, as often as I can. But if there is a blog hop, it's hard to do the premieres because a lot of times, oh, I re-inked this. That looks good. Ooh, let's see. If I have to do it again, I'll do it again, but it might be too juicy. Let's see. Blog hops often start really early in the morning, and uh, that's how it is. Um, Georgie Wood, that video is there um, with, with this same stencil set. I posted it, was it last week? Um, I don't know what I called it though. And sometimes that's a problem with the naming. What did I name it? Um, but it's out there. Thank you, Emma. Um, all right. I don't know if I did this well enough because I re-inked my pad and I forgot. Meaning, oh, here's my little protect the manny. By the way, this is on day eight. Looks pretty good. What happens is it starts to grow away from my nails and that doesn't help. Um, but here we go. Let's see. I think I, I think I'm going to stamp it again. I had not used that. Oh, yeah. You know what? That one doesn't look as good. Well, I mean, it's not, it's not sticking. Hold on. No worries. Here's what we do. We just say, we're going to, going to move you to the side. It gets very dangerous when I start to do this. And I'm actually going to do a little wipe down real quick of the stamp and then I'm just going to rub it a bit more. I have, I have another piece of this paper. Just take it. And anytime there's a piece that I don't use, I mean, honestly, I could use it. Let's see if that's sent. Yeah, I could use it for um, building up dimension and doing other things, but Oh, Heather, you haven't missed much. You know, just me, just yamming, making mistakes, tearing my paper. Um, I'm going to try this again. So we're going to ink it up like that. I think this will be enough now. Actually, maybe I should have done it twice. Maybe that was the problem. Well, are we good? Let's try it. Here's the thing. Um, wh when I'm doing a live stream, I don't mind going a little extra for, um, you know, for restamping things. Cause I'll do that in a video, you know, when I'm uh, recording things, I'll set you aside for now. Oh, you know, I'll do it more than once uh, because I like crafting and I also have the time, you know, oh, I just saw a double stamp. Let's see, did I, no, that looks great. See how much better that ink went on there or <laughs> powder, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. All right, let's set that aside. Let's funnel this back in. Hello, Donna and give that a good shake. By the way, for anyone who's wondering, my, my grandkitty is here today, but he, he does not hang out in the office anymore. He's, he's in his rebellious teen years, and uh, he, he, I have a new little place for him that he loves, which is downstairs, and uh, he just hangs out there. He doesn't, I mean, he comes in when he's hungry. That's, that's about the only time. All right, let's melt this powder. Zoom in here and we'll heat up the tool and then we'll melt it. Yeah, that looks good. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. All right. Look at that. I, I have 
got out of the habit of using Gilded from Brutus Monroe, and I really like this color. It's such a pretty powder. Okay, now let's get our dyes. All right, so we got these things. Um, I'm actually just gonna cut this paper a little bit here. And I think I'm just gonna uh, cut with my spell binders, but let's get the coordinating dies if I can find the packet that holds all the products. Here you are. Okay, okay. So <laughs> we have dies and balloons. So there's one, there's one. And I'm just gonna roll the dice that I get them lined up well. If I do, I do, if I don't, not the end of the world, right? Um, which one says celebrate? Is it this one? Yes, okay. Little guys go back in, put them in my little pockets. I love the one pass stamping. I think it just stamped beautifully. Now, if you didn't want to have the same color strings, you could do some masking, but sometimes, honestly, I don't feel that fancy. You know what I could do? Let me grab my little baby machine. Yeah, let's do that. When I just realized I don't have to get all fancy here, I'm going to pull this back a little. And that way we can just do a few at a time. Let me take my big scissors here. We're gonna go like that, like that and trim you a little, and you. Yay, that way they'll go through one at a time. I don't know, sometimes I just think it's fun to only focus on one at a time. So here we go, right? We're gonna press it and stick it. Love that thing, okay. How many of you have a mini die cut machine? And if you have it, do you use it? That's the other question, right? You have one, but do you use it? I've been trying to use this more and more because I think it's fun. It's quiet. It's so easy to um, go through. Now, I'm going to do this. Well, you know what? I should have. Let's zoom out here a little. My friend Bethany just posted a video. I watched it last night on her channel, and she just got the one from We Are Memory Keepers. And... Uh, yeah, she posted a really cute video and showed showed it off. And it was um, it was cute. It was just a, I like this one because it's black and it makes me feel more goth at heart. And you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm a former, I'm a recovering goth. So, you know, um, so I don't mind. Oh, and here's the other thing we can do here too. Check it out. And this this live will might go over a little, but hopefully that's okay. Hopefully that's okay. Um, okay, we're gonna pop this out like that. And there's our cute little celebrate. Looks good. Some dye hairs in there, but that's okay. Now I'll just use the same piece of cardstock and have, make a few shadow layers. I've been really inspired to do this more, uh, partly from watching Jennifer McGuire's channel, um, to try to use less foam. Just reading all the different machines you had. Zan, you know, part of the reason I prefer electronic machines is just because of some wrist issues that just don't get better with age. I'll tell you that. And um, most of the time, I just only use my electric. Uh, and it's it's been a, a saver for um, just, you know, days where you're doing a lot of die cutting. I really, really appreciate my electric machine. Oh, hey, Tanya. Doing good, doing good out here. Um, cutting some layers for some dimension, okay? Good. And now, a lot of times too, I will stick this right back in so I don't forget because of losing dyes. Someone the other day said to me, um, you should get one of those magnetic bowls for your dyes. I'm gonna move this back a little so you can see more. I have one somewhere. I just don't know where it is. And part of me wonders if I actually gave it away. I might have. I might have. It might have been one of those things that I hardly ever used when I first started crafting. Now, let's see here. I think, you know what? That's going to be fine. You're fine, Gaff. Um, 
those magnetic bowls and uh, uh yeah all right we're coming in here we're gonna we're gonna roll the dice you can be fancy and make templates and you know what we're not doing that today okay there we go this is very easy to roll um it's just super easy it let's see did i you know what kath you just did a great job okay there's that um it's not hard and that's why i enjoy it on the little things hey simon nice to see you here my friend my young talented friend um had fun i had fun working with one of simon's new releases the the stencil the floral stencil that that is a pretty petals beautiful uh stencil set so so many options that you could do and uh so thank you simon for sending me that one of the perks, sometimes, you know, you get things sent to you and that's, uh, well, it's not a bad thing. All right, we're gonna cut this little friend. Well, hello, Daisy girl. You know, we're just, we're just live crafting. And when I'm done, I, oh, look, I did good again. <laughs> so for all the things that go wrong, some things, some things go right. And that's the hope that we have. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep hope alive. All right, putting you back in, then one more, then we're gonna cut some shadow layers for these as well. All right. Yes, yes. Um, you know, Vivian, it's that thing of do you if you don't need one for um physical limitation reasons, because I feel like, you know, I I love my Spellbinders Platinum 6. I've actually got two of them when they came when they came out with the aqua one I just had to do it I, I don't know why I thought it looked like my logo color for my CZ design logo um, and I really do love them but you know do electric die cutters have some upsides I think so I mean I love I loved my Gemini junior and I say it in past tense only because I don't have my die cut cam set up today. I have the new Gemini 2, but I I needed to order a set of plates instead of, it's, it's not even a good story. I'm waiting for my plates to arrive, my smaller size. And uh, I'm excited because I'm going to give it a good workout. It's so quiet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, three balloons that worked. Now let's just cut some shadow layers, okay? And we'll get we'll get as much out of our cardstock as we can. All right. Oh, Roxanne, you might need to you might need to bust that out, woman. Mine sat in my box after I bought it because that was that was not a freebie. That was you know some things companies are happy to send, and I would like to uh, shout out to Crafters Companion because they they did send the Gemini two to me, so I really appreciate that. Um, but when I first went to the electric machine I bought it and uh with you know with with my hard-earned money and it, it stayed in the box for like six weeks maybe more I just was afraid to just change my routine you know um well okay Tanya do I like that machine so far yes I actually do when I first started using it um with the big plates I noticed they warped like really fast and I was like, is this normal? Am I just doing something wrong? Then I decided, hold on, I'm just grabbing more cardstock. Then I decided to switch to, um, I shouldn't have put these away, my smaller plates, the ones that I use with my Gemini Junior and they work like a dream. I was shocked. Like they, and then I watched some videos and found out that yes, you can actually uh, use these with, uh, the old plates. Hold on a second. I need to grab some cardstock. Do I have that? All right. I don't want to cut up any more Concord and Ninth right now because I'm kind of low on the white. So I think, let's see, do we have two? You know what we're going to do? <laughs> I know this seems weird, but it's a different weight of cardstock. So here's what we're going to do we're going to go, one of you and one of you, and actually, I've got to redo it. You know why? Because it's going to be a different depth. <laughs> Where did the other balloon go? Oh, no. Did I lose it? This is why you put your dies back. Here we go. All right. 
I'm here, everyone. I I haven't I haven't checked out just yet. You know what? I'm gonna do three of the same depth. The Concord cardstock, I just it's a slightly, I think it's a hundred pound. And I'm gonna go with my 110. Ooh, that's a that's a tighter fit. And do two of those. But yes, I'm uh Roberta, I, I, oh, okay. So I looked into that and I don't know, Roberta, if you were the one that told me about that. Someone told me about that. They're pricey, right? The plates, they're not cheap. The eye deck or whatever. Um, I may look into that. I may look into that. Okay. Here we go. Let's do one more. Here we go. Cutting it out. So. How's everyone doing out there? I know this is, uh, it's always very thrilling to watch people die cut, but you know, sometimes you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, these will be our shadow layers, and then we get to, yeah, we get to build a card. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, Refine Crafts, nice to see you here. All right. Okay. So we have all our shadow layers that are technically ready to go. All right, you there and you there. I think that will be nice. So yeah, I like I like using this little BB machine sometimes. I think it's cute, it's quiet. Ah, <sighs> you know, oh, I missed a sale. Oh shoot, yeah, well see, that's just it, Roberta. If you don't have to replace your plates, all right, we're moving this aside and putting it over here. Uh, when it comes when it comes time to actually uh, cleaning up after my lives, maybe I should film a little of it. I used to downstairs because I would throw things and everything would be like all over the place and it would be crazy. Um, while I glue, I would like to know, let me grab my swatch ring. All right, you know I have my, my swatch rings of cardstock. I find these useful for this, these very things. When you say to yourself, okay, what color note card would I want to have with this? Would I like a dragon fruit? Can you visualize that? Dragon fruit. I'm gonna have some voting happening here. Um, let's flip sweet pea. Ooh, sweet pea's good. Sweet pea. I don't think I'll do nutmeg, but let's just pull up pink lemonade. Okay. There's so much cardstock on here. Here we go. Yeah, come on, flip over. Okay. We have pink lemonade. See, it's just interesting. It changes the look. I'm trying to break out of my white on white thing. So, or I'll show you the nutmeg. You got it. You got to see them all and you got to feel it. You got to feel it in your gut. I mean, that's fun too. Okay, I'll let you think about this because there's a lot of choices here. And I, I saw a lot of votes for dragon fruit at first. Um, it is, you know, I will say this, dragon fruit is definitely the happiest color. Oh, sorry, there you go. But any of them would work. And now I know it's gonna be hard because every, Matt with, Oh, wait, KC in California, you want me to actually cut a mat? What do you, what do you think? I'm G to K? Although, well, yeah, if I had done this, I don't know. All right, I'm going to glue things while, while you all think. And then I'm, it's, you know what? I am seeing all the colors, all the colors. Although it would be cute to do a slim nutmeg. Oh, oh, everyone. Okay. Yeah, this is where it gets a little wild. Okay, so we're gonna use a little liquid glue and build up our dimension real quick. I I think I I think I opened up a can of worms. <laughs> Only one pink lemonade, Mindy. Mindy's Mindy's the outlier. Um Gina K would do a slim nutmeg with a sweet pea base. You know, I could try, I could try to do a nutmeg. Um you are helpful. <laughs> I could try to do a nutmeg um, matte layer, you know? All right. Oh, 
can you I don't think I can do a poll on my end though. Um Emma, can you guys can you guys do it? Um and then you can just tell me because I know you can as a moderator, I think, but I don't know if you can see it. I can't see it come through here. I would have to go turn on my other computer. So let well turn on my other computer. Um because I think you can do a I think you can do a poll. That would be fun. Let me see. Let me pull this up. We got time. We got time. All right. Let me see. Mm. Oh, gosh. Who gave me that big super chat? Let's see, I got to say thank you. Audra, thank you. See, I don't see all these things. I don't see them. Um, I'm going to see if I can try. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the chat. Show the chat. Um, I go plus start a poll. Okay. Let me, let me, let me do it in here. We're going to go dragon fruit. Get rid. You're going to get to vote in a minute. Sweet P add an option. This is really clever. Whoever told me to do this. Um, pink lemonade or nutmeg. Okay. And while I'm <laughs> nutmeg, what color should the note card be? Okay, okay, friends, here we go. Post. It's coming at you. The, the, po the poll has been posted on YouTube. So as soon as I finish gluing, whatever is at the top, that's going to be our note card. And if we decide then that we want to do a nice little um, base. That was fun. That was fun to put a poll up. Look at us. We're so high tech. We're so high tech. So all I'm doing here is just using my liquid glue. See it, Emma? Isn't that fun? Um, and also, thank you for that super chat, Audra. I didn't, uh, I wouldn't have seen it because I think it already faded out of the distance on my uh, live stream software. Okay. So see that poll and go vote. I know you already posted once, but I need you to, I need your voice matters. There's going to be no election tampering. I promise. <laughs> it's going to be. A full-fledged, beautiful thing. Our democracy and crafting. And then whatever you say. Because here's the thing. I have all the colors. I don't have a lot of the colors. Um, but I have every color. I have like um, three sheets of each. Because Greg had been so kind to send me. Um, see how nice this is looking? Just coming together. Adding the dimension. Laura, I wish you were here dimension is life. I can't do it like her, but you know, okay. And I will, I'm looking as soon as I finish gluing, whatever is at the top of the pole, that's what I'm doing. So, you know, you got your voting. You got your voting. And maybe, yeah, I may do a mat. So, but whatever the card base says, then, um, then I'll decide. Okay. This is good. 105. I think this is going to be a longer live stream. I'm so glad my husband didn't ask me to take him. We, we were trying to coordinate when I could drop him off for his baseball game. And uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. How are we doing? I'm not accidentally killing the live stream. There we go. Okay. Putting this up. The gluing of the balloons. Almost done. And here's the thing too with these little balloons. I designed them just for this reason, right? So they would mix and match and work with your uh, stenciled piece. But you can do, you could do a whole little card with just balloons. Like look how cute that is. I don't think I would do it in that order, but all right, I'm glancing. Okay, it's gonna, you know, the numbers don't lie, people. The numbers don't lie. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's get some more hair. Okay. We're just doing this real quick. This is a really easy way for to get that dimension. It's just a little more time consuming, but what a great way to use up your cardstock. And it's a and well, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Uh keep voting people. Keep voting cuz the time, the numbers are running and if you're watching like on your computer, it's really easy to see. I'm sure on the device too, it will show up at the top of the chat window. If you're, well, obviously you've got the chat window open if you're chatting. <laughs> Make your vote count. Um, and that's where you will find the poll. And usually you can tap on it to collapse it. 
or click on it. Okay, we have our greeting. And I'll, you know what? I'll do one more glue related thing before I check, and that is grabbing my foam tape. I brought that out. Oh, here you are. Here you go. Okay. I am going to use foam tape for this because, well, you know, I can't, because that's what I like to do. So let's get you guys up here. Let's get out our, well, let's use our everyday scissors. I love these for cutting foam tape. And, oh, no, I can't foam tape it yet. Because what happens if we put a mat on? Okay. Let's put a pin in that. <laughs> Did any of you out there see the Pedro Pascal kit or sketch on SNL where he wakes up from a coma and he kept in that? Um, this glue topper was sent to me by a lovely lady and I can put her contact info. I believe she sells them. Okay, I'm going to turn and we're going to pick the winner. It's dragon fruit, 36%. Okay, I know everyone voted and I love you all, but let me grab some dragon fruit. Let's see here, do I have to cut it? I do. All right, get our big trimmer. Okay, but we will, we will see if a mat works. I may not do it, I may not, but I'm gonna move these things out of the way and we're gonna cut our note card base. So we're bringing our trimmer again. And let's zoom out a tiny bit. This this cardstock color is kind of next level. I mean, it's just, oh, it's just beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up here real quick, get my little head in the way. I'm gonna line you up right on that dotted line, four and a quarter, and go like that. Then I always take this piece and I will I will stick it back in my shelf. Okay, and I'm gonna grab some nutmeg just to see. Okay. I'm gonna grab a piece of nutmeg. We'll go ahead here. And I am a person with this particular trimmer. I like to push the blade up, but it does work both ways. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it works both ways. Then I will take these pieces and put them back on my shelf. Um, I don't know if, if you've seen my craft room. See, because look at how pretty that is. Oh. All right. So then what we would do, what do we think? Do we like the idea of a little mat layer? Well, let me put it down so you can actually see it. Take a look at that. And I might try to get it a little thinner if I can. I'm not, I'm not great at the mats, but um, I might do that. I might do it. And actually, let me see if I have a die that's the right size. Because I might. I'm, sh I'm sure that I do. In fact, oh, hold on. I got two. Mm, there we are. There we are. Okay. So, almost, almost lost my greeting. Okay. Do we think the mat would be good? I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. It's different for me. It's a different world. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to measure this to make sure I'm on with the size. Three and a half. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> this is not. Okay. Here's what we got to do. You know what? Forget the die. I'm going to do this manually. And I actually should have brought in. I'm not doing it with a die because I think I mistrimmed this. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Bring the trimmer back. Also, for those of you who wonder, the uh, this guy, lifting it up and moving it around is easy peasy and breezy because it's like, it's it's just, yeah, it's really easy to use. Here, Here's an old school... Here's an old school tip. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to forget that we didn't measure, that we didn't cut right. And we're going to go like this. Okay. And we're just going to go right here like that. Okay. We're going to come down here. Oh yeah. You can see what I, you got it. And did I get that? Did I? <laughs> okay. It's going to be fine. And then we're going to 
we're gonna put a pencil mark there. I'm doing it in ink so that I can actually see it, okay? Because I wanna be able to see it. Okay, there you go. Um, if you ever wonder why the YouTube uh, thumbs up don't show, it's because you just have to refresh your screen and then they'll show. Okay, now I can put that right on the line, cut, and I'm just going to flip the piece over. Again, let's come here, right on that blade edge, like that. So even though, let's see, I think uh, we're now we'll flip it over, and I think that is going to be... I think I need to take a tiny bit off the bottom. See that? Subtle. But you know, if, if Gina were here, she would be like, eh, Kathy? I love, I love how particular Gina is with her. There we go. Just a little like that. Okay. Take a look. And that, my friends, that's the money. Oh. Um, okay, so again, gonna put this away. Love that trimmer. Okay. Okay, well, I am actually gonna use some of Gina's tape today. I didn't think I was gonna use tape, but we're gonna tape it up. This is a longer live than I've ever done. You know, we could be losing. We could be losing people, and that's okay. That's okay, because in the end, we're gonna cover up the schmutz, the, the mistake. Let's put some tape on the back. Not too worried about pressing down the the embossing not like if I were doing it on a what's the word uh, through a die cut machine that would have pressed down the heck out of it okay you gotta stand up so I can see what we're doing three sides are good sorry about the head sometimes you gotta that looks good okay this is very fun all right did I, I put my tape hold on Oh, yeah, they keep putting things away. Okay, now, now I'm going to pop it up. Okay. Uh, there you go. You go there. And I think I will do a post video um, <laughs> cleanup. I haven't, haven't done one in a while. Um, I used to have a, when I was doing this downstairs and it was in the afternoon, um, I would oftentimes pour an early glass of wine uh, to clean up with. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing that today. It's a little early. I still have work to do this afternoon. I got I to gotta make some uh, final changes to my new Simon designs for Stamp Timber and uh, get, those, get those into production. Okay, so we have that. And look at this. This is gonna cover that up just fine and it doesn't affect the readability at all. So let's get our note card prepped. And, okay. I mean, it is, you know, it's, what I, Debbie, you know, I, I do have this idea for a, a, a series called Slightly Buzzed Crafting. But you know, the thing is, <clears throat> when I'm trying to live a healthier life, I generally abstain from cheap red wine. It's so good though. Okay, here we go. I am scoring right at five and a half, and this is my 11 inch by four and a quarter piece. Oh, this cardstock is beautiful. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put this one. All right, you go over there. One thing I have to be careful though with the after is I, I have a lot of coming soon products and I need to make sure that they're not in in full view. All right. Oh, yes, we're good. Okay, let's let's finish this out. We're almost there. We're almost there. Thank you so much for hanging with me and watching the things. Crafts and drafts. That's so cute, Laura. Oh, that's that's adorable. I did make something once uh, many, many years ago when I was slightly buzzed, and this was before card making, and it turned out so badly. Let me get my head over here just for a second. Um, it's embarrassing. And I thought to myself, you know what? That's not, that's not good for you. <laughs> okay, so there we are on our note card. This is very bold. I think this is very bold. Okay, 
Um, let us do this. Now I wonder, I'm going to grab, okay, there's almost nothing on here. Please forgive the sound, but I'm going to try to sand a little more paper off. Oh, it doesn't want, it doesn't want to do that at all. Okay, it's fine. You're going to make it worse, Kath, so don't. We're going to go like this and liquid glue it down. Card making in carafes, that would work too. Um, crafting and ciders? I don't know. My daughter drinks uh, ciders because most of them um, are gluten-free. She doesn't drink beer. Um, and uh, did I get enough glue on there? I think so. Let's just go like that. Oh, coming around. Cheryl, thank you so much. Appreciate the super chat. Y'all are, y'all are very kind. And thank you for being here. Again, you know, this is just casual crafting. If, <laughs> put it this way, if you're watching this for the first time, no one would stick around this long if it were the first time. But if you, if you are watching this and you're a newbie, this is not, you know, this is live. Lives are different. You know, they're just different. You just do different things, you make mistakes, and then you rally, <laughs> you rally. Okay, so now what I wanna do, I don't wanna completely, well, see, here's the thing though, do I want a little balloon to be out of the bound? I do, I love that. That makes me happy when the balloon itself breaks the plane of the mat. That I think is fun. Okay, there's that one, good. This little bad boy is going over here. So you can see why you just want to pay attention. If, if you end up getting this set and you're playing, because the template is set up to um, make sure that no two colors are touching or stacked. That's the goal of this template. Um, you just want to be mindful of where you put your uh, balloons, color-wise, from a color standpoint, so that it all works. And then you get this whole little thing. Hey, Renee, well, there you go. You're gonna be here till the end. You know what? That's great. Oh, and um, Emma or um, Beth, how about, how about Beth today? How about, no, Emma, you do this time. Emma, will you pick a winner for this card um, in the chat? And I will give this, and just at random, and then when it's done, you can post the winner and I will, uh, whoever's the winner, uh, you will contact me at Kathy at KathyZilski.com and I will send you this card. How does that sound? Does that sound like a deal? Because I, you know, I got a lot of cards. Did I not pick? Oh, the celebrate is lower because, and I'm sorry that I'm sending you a card that has a little glitch in the middle, but you know, maybe it will remind you people are terrible. Even Kathy, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, we're gonna put this guy up here. You know what, I feel like I didn't put the celebrate up high enough because I did it on the other cardstock. I may add another layer or two after the video's over so that it has the same height like that. Now here's the thing, I don't, I feel like this just doesn't need more because I kind of feel like a card like that Right? Does it need shine? I don't know. I mean, I could put a couple little things on it. Would you bling it up? It's more time. Um, thoughts? Bling? Boop? Boop? Maybe. Maybe it needs, maybe, maybe a little. Maybe a little shine. Um, but yes, I'm going to keep going until I'm done. And then Emma, you pick a winner. Um, and you just scroll through and, you know, close your eyes. That's what I do. What am I looking for right now? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm, is it perfect the way it is? It does have a little shine. I'm gonna leave it. Should I leave it? I think I'm gonna leave it. Cause you know what, it's, I w here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stamp this again and stack up with uh, a couple more layers and then just glue it right on the top so that you'll have a little shine. No boop, we're good. That is the finished card project. So, all right, now let me see. Okay, Emma. Who gets this card? Do I have sound effects like Tom? I do have sound effects somewhere. Um, oh yeah, no gel pen. I'd be afraid, Holly. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find my my overlays um, and see who is the winner of this card. Where are my overlays? No, no, Windows. 
Um, we're going to go to sound effects. Okay. It's Barb McCarthy. Barb, are you the winner? There we go. How about this? Let's go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to play. Oh, hold on. Sound effects. Hold on. Here we go. Let's try it. That's all I have. It's all. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, okay, it's not working that well today. So, sound effects have been muted, and that is our finished card. Okay, congrats, Barb. I, I will need you to email me at kathy at kathyzilski.com. I will put this in the mail to you with that little upgrade that I'm going to do before I take pictures of it, and um, I will send that to you. Um, so that's for Barb. I want to show you cards before I go, though, okay? So I'm going to set this aside, and I will get all the cards uh, photographed later, but I just wanted to show you a few cards that I've recently gotten in the mail, and I would like to start with this lovely card from Tara. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the beautiful blend she did. Um, that is just lovely. Okay, I'll set that aside. I have this is, okay, this is so cool. This is from Tracy. And look at this photo card. Tracy, I'm not, I don't need to tilt it. Tracy made this card out of a photo from her garden and then overlaid a stamp from one of my sets on top. And I think that's really fun. That great? Tracy, I hope you're watching. I hope you're watching because I think that's cool. This is a card I got just the other day. This is from Delphine. I want to say Delphine. Look at how fun this is. Look at the, so the, this has all this shine. Thanks for being, and then the, to the, to my queen bee of card making. I just thought that was so fun. So thank you, Delphine. I had to show you this one. I don't know if I showed you before. This is from Twyla. And look, look who's on the front there. It's my little grandkitty Franklin. Love that, Twyla. Thank you. And then I don't know if I showed you this one, but this is from Karen, and I just thought this was so sweet. It opens, and you have that inside. So fun. So fun. Just wanted to show you. I, I love getting cards from all of you. I, I keep them. I have a big, huge box, and it's really fun to look through and see cards that are sent and... So thank you so much. I'm glad I remembered. And also this little printer thing, um, I was going to talk a little bit about it and I'll show you real quick. Um, it is the Nimbot and it is thermal. So what that means is I don't know if it's going to last forever, but I'll show you what's cool. Uh, let me open my phone here. Um, you can do, oh my gosh, I have 21 text messages. Are you kidding me? That is insane. I'm sorry. I, what the heck? That that's why uh, that's why I turn my phone off when I'm doing this. Okay, here's what's so great. Um, I just labeled this today. Oh, let me bring this color down because you won't be able to see it. There we go. Oh no, hold on. That was too far. Um, nah, Kathy, highly trained professional. That'll be better. Um, you can go in and you can save your styles. I, I save mine. I'm not going to hit this because I have a new product coming up here that I don't want you to see the name of yet. Anyway, um, and then and then you you go here. Let's turn it on. <laughs> okay. Sharon, I may I may have your card here in the pile. I just haven't gone through all of them yet. So um, here's what's kind of cool. Go like this. Go like this. Mm, gonna save the template. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to print, but does that mean this is gonna last forever? I have no idea. All right, here we go. Um, we're, we're, we're synced up. We're gonna go here. I, again, I just don't know if it's got a long-term shelf life, but what I love is it prints really fast and this little la label is ready to go. The reason I like this over the really cute one that looks like a typewriter, these look more like the type of things that I label. Um, Ellen, I will add a link to it. Again, I don't mean to say it's like a ringing endorsement. I have been using it. It charges by Bluetooth. Um, I, I like this, but these, I don't know what the shelf life is. So I'm gonna turn that off. Oh, it's a kind of a crazy noise. And that is a look at it. But I will I will give me uh, some time to update the links and take pictures of the card today. Thank you for being here. It was a really long live stream. But again, 
you know, <laughs> when I have air conditioning, sky's the limit. I mean, I could be here all day. But I wanted to thank you for being here. If you're not a subscriber, please become one. And I will see you back here very soon with a really fun card project. Got to edit that video today. But I appreciate you for all being here. And I'll see you back here with another card project very soon. I lost my end screen. Where's my end screen? Hold on, everyone. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, uh, usually it's easier to say goodbye. So I'll say goodbye. Thanks for being here today. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.